Okay, so here we go again. Today we're going to be talking about blastoma, which is another bone condition in which you're going to get widening of the bone. So, um, like it says here, it's a rare benign bone tumor. So remember, benign means it's not. It's not. You can have problems with it, but it's not going to spread to other parts of the body, and it's not going to kill you. Okay, it usually occurs in the lower vertebrae of the spine or the long bones of the legs, such as the femur or the tibia. Um, femur is your thigh bone, tibia is your, uh, is your shin bone. You also have the fibula, which is right next to the tibia, which helps make up the shin area. Okay, they don't know what causes this. And like I said, it's not malignant, so that means it doesn't spread to other parts of the body. You can have this, usually it's gonna be in one part of the body. So what are the symptoms of this? Um, one can be scoliosis, and I'll show you in a minute on a, a spine in which you, uh, someone has scoliosis because of the fact that you get bone forming on one side of the, sp the spine. Okay, so um, that can be one of the symptoms, it could be the fact that it causes scoliosis. Okay, there's going to be pain and swelling. The pain and swelling is going to be due to the fact that the bone is increasing in size. You have a tumor. And when we talk pain, these, these can be very, very painful. Because you have a tumor that's pushing against bone, and the bone doesn't want to move. And so that's what makes this so, so painful. A lot of times when you get tumors and stuff in, on organs, it's not that painful simply because an organ is flexible. Bone's not flexible. So when, like I said, so when you start getting something growing inside the bone and pushing against the bone, it can be very, very painful. So the radiographic signs, what are we going to see on x-ray with this? Well, it looks like what, it looks like it forms a bubble in the bone. So if we look, you can see there's an arrow that's pointing right here, all right, to right here. This is a bubble right here. All right, if I go down here, if you notice, it's not there. All right, if I go down here, I, I don't see it either. And if I go right here, I don't have it either. But that's not the biggest problem here. Well, here's why this could be a problem is because you have nerves coming out from the spinal cord from right here. All right, you have nerves coming out. And so as this grows, it can start to put pressure on those nerves, which can cause things such as pain going down to the legs and things such as that. But the biggest thing here is, if you notice, look at this bubble that's right here. And that is growing into the bone down here. And it's also growing into bone up here. So this can cause a lot of back problems here. And if you look, this what this has actually done is this has actually pushed this vertebrae up and forward. And so what's happened is, if we go right here also, is you can see how then we get decreased, decreased disc space, and the front of this is starting to rub together. And again, these are osteophytes. These are bone spurs right here that occur when you get osteoarthritis. Okay, this is because of the pressure on the bone. So the fact that you have this growing here, it's pushing my bone forward, which is causing more pressure on the front here and causing it to, uh, and causing uh, osteoarthritis to occur. If you look down here, we don't really have that problem too much. And down here, see how you don't have any of the front of this touching? Because we don't have the big old vertebrae right there pushing into it. I mean, the big old osteoblastoma. By the way, when it comes to conditions, when you see the word blast, that means there's growth. When you see the word lytic, it means that um, something's, being, something's being lost. almost like it's being eaten into. So if we go on, you can see right here, we got another bubble right here. Oh. One second. Go backwards right here. So once again, if we look right here, sorry, it keeps making me click this we actually have a bubble in the bone right here. And if you look right here, you can see there's a little thing sticking up right there. I'm gonna erase this real quick. 
what's happening here, what's happening right in here, where this little piece of bone is sticking up, down in here, we're actually starting to break the periosteum. This is the bone that's right here. And this should just come straight down and go like this. But this tumor is starting to push out. So we're starting to raise the periosteum again. And this is going to be a lot of pain. By the way, what you're looking at, this is the knee right here. So that's gonna be very painful there, but we also have this growing inside going in this way. So this, this is actually gonna be a pretty painful condition here. You can see the swellings coming all the way. Let me change colors here to white. And you can see the swelling is coming all the way down like this and see how it comes out like that. That shouldn't be occurring. The legs should just come straight down like this here. So there's a few things going on here. Okay. And so let's go on to the next slide. And let's go back just a bit. This thing's sensitive when it comes to. Okay, so if we look, you can see osteoblastoma occurring right there. This is either a PET scan or a CAT scan. You can see it's forming right there too. So this will cause a lot of pain in the fingers simply because you have bone growing inside a bone. And like I said, bone does not want to move. If you look, this is actually a pretty young person too. They have pretty good bone density in there. Let's go on. Now here we have scoliosis again. If you look, the spine is curved. All right. And what's causing the curvature here is, this is hard to see, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this area right over in here and we're gonna look at it here. And I got this big old growth occurring like this. And what that's doing is that's forcing the spine to go over this way. And as it does that, I start to get the spine being pushed this way. So once again, like we said with scoliosis, I want to keep my eyes even. So the spine has got to curve back this way. So if they were to treat this, they would probably still have to use rods, but they would also have to remove the growth that's occurring down in here. I don't think if they just took away the growth down in here, if it would actually just cheer up the scoliosis, it might. Um, I can't believe they let it get this bad because of simply just because of the fact that you have an osteoblastoma down there. Let me see if I can draw this a little bit better. Um, and so again, we have this growth that's coming, it's real big right down in here. And if you notice, we don't get that anywhere else up in here. All right, let's go on to the next one. And osteolysis. So this will be the next condition we cover. So that is it for osteoblastoma.